Do you? There you are. It's me, Scotty McClure, live on Periscope, one of the world's top broadcast platforms. The time is just coming up to um, half past 11 on Sunday, the 11th of June. And I just thought I'd pop up to say hi to you and to remind every single one of you that tonight at 10 o'clock sharp on Facebook Live, Scotty McClure with the general election special for one hour. One hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for not just one nation, but all nations, of course, broadcasting globally live on Facebook Live. And uh, lots to talk about, uh, of course. What an interesting week it's been in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. We have had a general election called by Mrs. Theresa May, the British Prime Minister, and um, she's called a general election. We had that on Thursday, June the 8th, and um, everybody has cast their votes. Some very, very interesting results. That will all be discussed tonight. Um, what I take out of it, obviously Labour have made incredible gains. Uh, the Tories have lost a lot of seats, which does not surprise me after all the suffering that people have had to put up with over the past few years under their government. The Scottish National Party, very, very surprisingly in some ways, has lost a number of seats. Um, not totally surprisingly, of course, because they would have had to keep going up the way to get 59. During the referendum, they had half a dozen seats. Now they've got 35 seats. Uh, so that's pretty good stuff. So they're very much the government of Scotland and they're very much still in power. But apparently, um, a few people, particularly um, apparently farmers in the northeast of Scotland, for some reason, uh, took a funny turn and thought that Mrs May could actually do something to help them. Um, so um, obviously the Tories have gained some votes in Scotland, but had people not voted that way, Mrs May would not have got back into power at all. Now she's desperately clinging on to power with uh, a suspected alliance with the Democratic Unionist Party of Northern Ireland. So there you are, that's kind of what's gone on in a nutshell. We'll be discussing it all tonight. Now make sure you're there. Be there or be square, I say. I thoroughly enjoy our periscopes together. So feel free, if you want to uh, give me some feedback, do that. There's no problem with that at all. And uh, we can get the chat going. Uh, so there we are. That's, uh, that's the chat now. So if you want to come on and have a quick chit chat and see what's what, please feel free to do that. That is never a problem. Lovely to have so many of you with me. Now, uh, apart from, we'll not just be discussing the United Kingdom general election tonight, because we are a global show, so we're talking about what's happening in America, what's happening in Russia, China, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, the Arctic, the Antarctic, um, Canada, America, South America, Ireland, uh, the whole of Europe. We can discuss anything we like because it's a massive massive program now also uh, what's interesting the scots have been thinking that people are fed up with the idea of independence complete and utter bunkum and nonsense and rubbish if ever independence for scotland and remember i'm no political animal i'm not party political in any way whatsoever but uh, i am for independence for scotland because economically it would be far better for scotland a country that has had um, a ball and chain round its ankle for 310 years and needs to be in charge of its own destiny. Self-determination. So that's what we're looking for. It's only a, a change of administration and management. Perhaps independence is even the wrong word for it. Who knows? We shall discuss all that tonight at 10 o'clock sharp live on Facebook Live. Um, also, check out all of my periscopes. There's some very, very interesting stuff there, guys. Look at every single one of them, watch them. If mainstream television is boring you, if mainstream radio is of no interest, then go on and have a Scotty McClue session. Put one of the programs on. Go to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel and click subscribe. I need about another 100 subscribers. So if 100 of you can get to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel, just pop it into Google, stick it into your search engine and uh, Scotty McClure YouTube channel and click the little red subscribe and that will take us up to a thousand subscribers and then we can um, go on YouTube as an official broadcast platform. So think about doing that. Also, 
if you've seen Scotty McClue's GoFundMe videos and you've thought, oh, I'm not bothering with him, please revisit that. Have another think about it. Because um, for a fiver or something like that, you could be helping to set up an independent media with me broadcasting for you where you're going to get all the truth. You're going to get the facts. And above all, you're going to interact with me. Now, the, the, the shocks that came to the mainstream media, all the journalists every day totally shocked, taken aback by the general election results. Had we had a Scotty McClue national radio phone in, that would never have happened because we would have known how the people were thinking. We would have known the will of the people. We wouldn't necessarily know how everybody was going to vote, but we're talking to the people. And at the moment in this country, we don't really have many facilities to talk to you, between you and the broadcaster. Scotty McClure was the pioneer of public access radio. I pioneered public access access radio my whole life has been radio and television for the last 40 years so i pioneered that interactivity and i would like to see that continue mainstream so i think that television and radio companies should uh, have a word with me this week and say scotty we saw your periscope and uh, would you consider doing a national radio phone in for the people of the United Kingdom to find out what's what, all right? So that's something we should be looking at, but please go fund me right now, grab your debit card. It's minimum one pound, all right? And it's maximum one billion pounds, brackets per day, close brackets. So in other words, to explain this to you, you can put in a pound, you can put in a billion pounds, but only once a day with the billion pounds. If you wanted to give me another billion pounds, you'd have to wait until tomorrow. All right? So there you go. So that's what's going on there. So go to Scotty McClure's GoFundMe, gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. Don't bypass me. Think again and say, no, 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 no. This guy's well worth a quid or a fiver of my money. All right? So that's what we're talking about. So I'll see you all tonight. 10 o'clock sharp, be there or be square. Never, ever, ever miss a second of Scotty McClue. You miss a moment of McClue. You miss a moment of life. And remember, whoever has McClue has the market. So if you're a media mogul and you're on television and radio companies, you run newspapers and you think, my audiences are not so good, my figures are not so good, I think I'll get a hold of Scotty McClure and see if he can build me a proper audience. Do that. Feel free to do that, and I will be delighted. Until tonight at 10 o'clock sharp, this is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to all of you. Share this Periscope big time.